it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are on FS13, starting the throwback to FS13 series. Um, we are on MAFM version 2, or Modern American Farming Map version 2. Um, so, I got everything set up now after like two hours of screwing around with this, trying to get things to work. Um... Kept having issues, and here it was a uh, couple of PDA mods that were giving me the issues. So, got that fixed, and now we're ready to rock and roll. So, we'll do a tour of the equipment as usual, and then uh, we'll get started on some harvest, because we have some fields that are ready to rock and roll. So, here we have the uh, LMS, or Lazy Mod Studios, Ford F350 Lariat Super Duty Single Rear Wheel. Uh, there's a dual rear wheel dual rear wheel version that is also it also has a flatbed it's got a beefier flatbed on it so we'll just come over here into the farm uh, I was running si a solid 60 frames per second until I started recording but uh, that's how that usually works out here we got the uh, diesel fuel trailer uh, next to the diesel fuel tank uh, there we have the trailer for duels for our uh, 1086 and then in here is where the lot is so we'll shut that off so we'll start down here I guess here we have the Farmall 1206 with the Bomford uh, Superflow 5.7 meter cultivator we got the 1086 International hooked to the John Deere 1590 drill uh, here we have the uh, Case Puma 160 CVX. Uh, this is from the Titanium DLC. Uh, hooked to the in-game corn planter. Uh, here we have the Case International Agri King 1570. Uh, or Case Agri King 1570, sorry. Uh, hooked to the Cavernland spreader. Uh, this is also from the Titanium DLC. Uh, the Case International 7130 Axial Flow. We have the Duke Farming Peterbilt uh, 352 hooked to the Merit, uh, tow, Merit Super B Tow Trailer. Because uh, there's a pack, it, you have your lead and your tow, or lead and your follow, whatever. Uh, here we have the Meridian 375RT tender trailer and then um, over here we have our headers we have our grain platform and our corn header so we're gonna go ahead and get started on harvest uh, we're gonna start off with corn so we're gonna go ahead and uh, fire up the old peat here and we'll get him over to the field So hopefully my sound is okay. I turned the game volume down to 20. Um, but we'll see if I have to go any farther. Hopefully not. Uh, where would be a good place to park this? I think over here somewhere. Like right there. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's quiet enough. If not, um, I'll turn it down to like 10 maybe. Uh, so we have three fields that we own, and they're all planted, ready to rock. Uh, field 9, 10, and 11. 9 is wheat, 10 is corn, 11 is soybeans. So we're going to go ahead and get rocking here. <clears throat> yeah, so I spent uh, most of yesterday downloading mods for this, and uh, I downloaded a few more today as well. Just got a whole bunch of mods. I think there's like 400 files in the mods folder right now. But, uh, yeah. There we go. So we got our combine unfolded now. So we'll go ahead and uh, go over here and get combining.
Alright, we're good to go. Do our screenshots, of course. Uh, I don't have the camera rotation mod. I don't believe that it's... Uh, I don't know if it's out for 15 or not. Let's see. There we go. Want to be able to take them through uh, through that as well. And let's just see here. I want to see if it took two screenshots. No, it didn't. Okay, so I'll have to take two every time. So yeah, this is this really is one of my favorite maps for 13. Uh, this, you know, both of the modern American farming maps. Um, I really enjoy both of them. They were very well done maps. Uh, I'm really excited for uh, version 4 to come out for 15. Uh, a lot of people have argued with me over this, saying that uh, version 4 is already out for 15. Uh, no, it is not. Version The version 4 that is out there is the FSASMC um, hack job of version 2 here. Uh, they converted it, uploaded it, and proceeded to edit the map as well. And so their version 4 is not an actual version 4. Um, the creator of the American modern American farming maps, he is actually working on an actual version 4. Uh, it's been basically redone from the ground up, I believe. Uh, so... You know, brand new, you know, great map. Uh, he's got all kinds of scripts on it that look just awesome. Uh, okay, why is my... Let's see. Hmm. I can't remember what button brings up GPS now. I can't get my GPS. What the world? Okay, then. Guess we'll just go without it. Oops. I keep forgetting in this game you have to use cruise control. Always. <laughs> so we're going to get uh, a lot of lot of crop which is good because we only have twenty one thousand nine hundred and thirty five dollars um, I pretty much I sold all of the starting equipment and that gave me enough money to buy all of the equipment that we have now so that's pretty nice I definitely, there's definitely a lot of very, very nice mods for 13. Um, in, you know, some ways, there's better mods out for 13 than there is for 15. Um, you know, not, not in all ways, but quite a few of the mods are actually a lot better in 13 than they are in 15. Especially because a lot of 15 mods are just poor conversions of 13 mods. So, you know, but uh, there are still many, many cool mods out for 15 as well. You know, and especially because a lot of 15 mods were never around in 13. So. I know like one of the scripts that uh, Doc has added to version 4, uh, you can grind corn and make, you know, processed corn or whatever it's called. It's, you know, something, I've never seen it done in this area, but like you can use it, you know, you grind it and use it for feeding. 
So it's kind of similar to silage, only you're not chopping corn. It's just you take, you combine your corn, and then you, um, you combine it, and then you can put it in this kind of like mill type of thing, and it grinds it up, and you can, um, and then you can, uh, then you can feed it, you know, like processed corn or ground corn or I know there's some kind of a normal you know like a technical name for it but I forget what it is I had my GPS working before I don't know why it's not working now Anyhow, we'll get our combine unloaded here. The thing I really, really like about this uh, Merit trailer is it fills one section at a time and empties one section at a time. So it's a lot, you know, it's a lot more realistic in that aspect, which is really cool. Um, but, you know, then again, it is still unrealistic because it has, like, the fill level. I wish there was a way to make it so that you didn't have a fill level. You just filled it until it was, you know, up to the top of the trailer. Or, you know, like, things didn't go to 100% full. Oops. Wrong button. But, you know, you can only do so much in a game, I'm sure, so... Anyway, let's finish opening this field up. For this section, at least. Uh, I do have course play. I have course play, uh, auto combine, as you see there. Uh, I have manual ignition. I have GPS, I don't know why I can't get it to turn on. Uh, does this do something with my trailer scale as well? Hmm. Not sure. Uh, I have Animal HUD, uh, and this map has pigs and beef, so we will get into those eventually. Uh, once we can afford it. So when we combine that field there, we'll drop all the straw. Uh, then we can... You know, hopefully by the time we sell all of this crop, we should be able to... Uh, should be able to afford... the equipment for... beef... Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get into pigs or not. Uh, beef for sure, but pigs I'm not positive. Uh, I might might get into them, but beef we're doing at the very least. I am just using my keyboard. For whatever reason, it's not wanting to recognize the SciTech wheel, uh, which I don't believe that it, the SciTech wheel was really made for 13. Um, if I remember correctly, it uh, it didn't come out until like 13 was pretty much over with, and it was all 15 then, uh, which is okay though, you know. Part of the throwback to the good old days of 13. You know, you sat and used your keyboard. Um, I suppose... I, I know my joystick is programmed here. But... Um, but yeah, I don't... I can't, uh, can't get it to recognize the SciTech wheel. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, like I said, it 
part of the throwback to the FS13 days uh, where you didn't have the steering wheel. I know some people had G27s. Uh, you know, I did for a while, and then I got rid of it and got the SciTech here. Well, I didn't get rid of this G27. I still have it. Uh, I just you know, took it to my dad's and have left it there. Um, eventually, I'll be moving in with my dad. So then, maybe uh, when I do that, and you know, they buy a house and I have my room all set up, I might be able to, you know, like have it set up so I can switch between the G27 and the SciTech wheel. For you know the G27 for playing far, uh, American Truck Sim and that kind of thing. Uh, eventually, I hope. I'll have to see though how uh, how all that plays out. Okay, so we'll just kind of go straight across here. Oh, uh, we're gonna fill. Yep. Right as I said it, too. Okay, let's grab the truck here. Now, this is where having course play in a grain cart would be handy. But, unfortunately, we cannot afford a grain cart yet. I could set this thing up on course play, but... It's easier just to drive it around, I guess. So I'll probably be doing a lot on this, you know, throwback series, just because, you know, I'm really enjoying this already. Uh, actually, last night when this finished downloading, I was playing some on uh, Southwest Minnesota Farms. Uh, that's a map that a buddy of mine had sent me a long time ago. Uh, I haven't actually heard from that guy in ages, but um, yeah, it was a map that he had made and had sent to me and. Uh, I had played it a bunch. I don't remember if I ever did any recordings on it. I may have. I can't remember though. But yeah, that was a that's a very nice map as well. Uh, I'm actually that one, uh, Newbie Farm, and one other map. I'm gonna try and convert to 15. Uh, I know that's a big project to take on, but, uh, you know, there's quite a few maps that I have here in 13 that would just be fun to have in 15 and would be very, very nice. Uh, Newbie Farm is a very nice one. Um, I remember Ian Robson used to do a Let's Play on that, and that's kind of how I got into it. I was watching his series. I think that's actually, like, the first map uh, he ever played. Uh, if I remember right and you know it's a very nice one there was five versions of it um, and you know I had like had multi fruits on it things like green wheat oats uh, I believe soybeans and sunflowers maybe sorghum uh, this map has oats soybeans sorghum and sunflowers on it so we can do some of those kind of crops uh, especially sorghum that's a crop that I really enjoy doing Around here, it's mostly used for silage. Uh, I want to, when I, you know, finish my map for 15, that's one thing I'd like to set up is, well, there's two two things I'd really like to set up. One, uh, being able to swath canola, because around, you know, in this area, at the very least, nobody straight cuts their canola. Uh, I was actually asking my... Um, grandpa about that the one that uh, uh, owns the real life version of my map or part of it used to uh, and you know I asked him why he they used to do canola uh, a long long time ago and so I just kind of was asking him you know why why don't you you know why doesn't anybody straight cut it and so he was explaining you know it's because um, it's like so dry like you there's only a certain time that you can combine it 
and swath it and if it's too dry you know it has to be so wet otherwise when you swath it and combine it all of the canola just falls right out of the head um, so he said there was one time his brother was out swathing it and you know he started in the morning it was just fine and by noon it was way too wet and or way too dry and stuff was just shelling so um, and then he said he wasn't really sure you know why everybody just swathed it and picked it up um, he said you know that's just what we've always done that's what I've seen many other people do so that'd be a cool thing to add to my map uh, you know canola you don't see it a whole lot in that area um, it's more so up north uh, kinda by the Canadian border uh, that you see it like up by where uh, my what the world kinda by where like my dad um, where you are right? where I farm with my dad that's more so where um, I see it you know once I get more up there towards the farm uh, but it it is done a little bit down in that area too but it's just not quite as common and uh, and then the other thing is being able to chop canola uh, to chop it for silage and stuff uh, being you know that's mostly what's done around here I know in other states it's combined you know there's grain sorghum and you know really don't see a whole lot of that around here it's pretty much just silage that they use it for <clears throat> but yeah those would be two things that, I, that would be really nice to add to my map you know and the canola especially because um, I'm working with Sirius Mods and one other guy on a Macdon PW8 pickup header uh, Sirius Mods had started the model a long time ago and a buddy of mine um, who I'm working with on this uh, he had started modeling one and Sirius Mod said you know I got one laying around that's already been started if you wanna you know if you wanna use that and so he's like yeah sure and then uh, I messaged Sirius too and I was gonna see if I could get it too and then um, either him or my buddy suggested you know hey let's work on this together so uh, that's what we're doing uh, my buddy is he's doing finishing up the modeling and then I think he's gonna AO it uh, either he's gonna AO it or I'm going to and then I'm going to script it as well so, so yeah that'll definitely be very nice once it's uh, once it's finished I really like this corn texture in here. It's really nice. So I think once we get up here to the truck, we'll back up and we'll just top the truck off because it's nearly full. So. back up here and swing around and get it uh, get it filled up hopefully we have enough to fill it I think we do yeah 94 96 oh it's so close 99 percent full Man, I always hate when that happens. It's like just about full and it runs out or you fill a, you know, like if you're using like a grain cart or a tractor or something and you fill the grain cart, like you finish your field and you fill the grain cart and your combine still has like 2% left in it and then you got to make another trip. 
that's always annoying. That actually happened to my dad the other day. Uh, he's been playing uh, FS13 on the PlayStation 3. Uh, he's been getting into that again. And um, uh, he had a pretty good strategy. He used like solar panels and built up money. And then once he was able to afford uh, turbines, he bought two and then let the PlayStation run all night long at 100 I think he left the time scale at like 120x so that it would grow you know like go fast and then he got up and there was like he had like 11 million or something and um, so then he bought a few more and then that night he did the same thing let it run all night got up and he had like 14 million so he was sitting pretty well so he bought you know all the biggest equipment and all that stuff so But, uh, yeah, he, he finished combining his field and unloaded the combine with the grain cart. And the combine had 2% full and the combine had 2% left in it. And the grain cart was full. <laughs> and he's like, really? You gotta be kidding. So, yeah, it was... It's funny. Oh, okay. I thought I was missing some there. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to complain about this being 13, but I don't really care. I mean, really the way I see it, if you don't like the thing that I'm playing, the game that I'm playing and uploading, don't watch the video. It's simple. I don't say you have to watch the video. Nobody makes you watch the video. Like the other day I had somebody comment saying I needed to make a new channel just for American Truck Sim. It's like, no, I'm not because that's a lot of extra work and having to switch between channels all the time and for as much as I play American Truck Sim it's really not worth it I mean I really don't play it a whole lot but when I do you know I like to record a video and I'm not gonna make a special channel just for that I mean if you're here for the farm sim that's fine if you don't like if, you know if you're not a fan of the farm toy videos or like American Truck Sim and that kind of stuff you don't have to watch it it's that simple and it's it's just annoying the way people uh, think that you know you have to do this and I've had many people say oh you need to do this and that with your channel and blah 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 and it's just like you know when it's your channel you can tell me what to do it's not so you know I'm gonna do what I wanna do not what you think I should do or anything like that and I'm sure many people you know think I'm like a jerk for that or something but you know really it it is my channel it's my decision of what to do on here not somebody else's I mean if people want to make suggestions that's fine you know and if you want to make a suggestion don't make it sound like a jerk you know don't say it like you're a jerk or something you know you can say you know hey be kind of cool you know if you did this or that or whatever well, there it's right there is a small section line through here and whatnot but you know to say you know you need to make a new channel just for trucking no you know you don't have to especially say it like a jerk ah, and we're gonna miss the turn but and, you know, many people have, you know, complained about how I play too many series, you know, I start way too many maps and stuff like that, and, you know, I like a variety, as do many of my viewers, so I like to play a new map, you know, every once in a while. I mean, it's just, I, there's not that many great maps out there uh, for 15 so you know finding a nice map is kind of difficult you know Clover Creek now that I'm not having issues with it right now oh well, leg issues I'm enjoying playing on it so you know I'll be sticking to that for quite a bit and you know like then once once I finish my map I'll be sticking to that
and you know then I'm sure people are gonna complain a lot because I'm only playing one map one that's you know it's not public I'll be using mods that aren't public and that kind of thing that's something that really sets people off but you know whatever uh, so that's the end of the video guys what I'm gonna do off camera is I'll finish this section of the field and then in the next video we'll be on that section um, so yeah I'm gonna keep on combining get some more uh, more of this field done so that way I can uh, maybe even get another video recorded today uh, but I'm gonna get this one edited and uploaded so that way it is not late yesterday's video I apologize for that being for, uh, so late for whatever reason it took a lot longer to export uh, from shotcut than normal and I don't know why and then it took a while to upload so but uh, anyways guys that is gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me uh, if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel make sure to subscribe if you like what you see Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. My video schedule is down in the description in this video as well as every other video. As well as my PC specs, my social media links, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you tomorrow.